¿Dónde se puede acampar? ¿Como allá o...? Sí, como afuera de la barrera, para allá puede acampar. Sí, sí. Lugar de ese tío anda más como a menos 10, 8. ¿Menos 10? Sí. En Calama, I have taken some time to repair the front brake and side case support of my motorbike. Now that the motorbike is fixed, I'm going to visit the Tejo Geysers, the biggest geyser group in the southern hemisphere. From there I'll go south to San Pedro de Atacama, the main tourist center in the Chilean highlands. I'm riding to the Tejo Geysers. Apparently in the early mornings, between 7 and 9 in the morning, these geysers are active and they spew out boiling water. And I've never seen a geyser, so I like to see that. To get there between 7 and 9, if I would stay in Kalama, I have to leave at 5 in the morning when it's still dark, cold, and not a pleasant ride. So I'm going to ride there now, camp there, and then tomorrow early morning I'm going to see the geyser. One little problem, at night it freezes. Gets around minus 7, minus 8 degrees Celsius. It feels like I'm in the Sahara Desert. Near a place where people live, it looks fine. But as soon as you get to an area where no houses are, it looks horrible. What's a good thing is that I see that they make a lot of renewable energy, especially solar energy. It's so easy to, to get that. Yeah? Apparently wind energy too, because it's flat, nothing is growing, so wind has a free game. I think they transport water in these pipelines that got some pumps on the river. We should cut it open and see what's flowing through. <laughs> and we have to close the whole factory. So why did you do this? Yeah, I wanted to check what was inside of the pipe. Ah, okay. This road tricks you because it shows the track of the tires. So I assume that these parts are soft and it's a bit sandy. But that's not true. It rides like a paved road. It looks like a sandy road. It's the brain against the emotion. I just feel so lucky, oh, 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 still can't believe you love me here. It's cool how the landscape has changed. From a dry desert where nothing, nothing grows, to like a steppe, where there are some plants, some rocks. It's un poco más allá hay un campamento viejo que está ahí, igual ahí puede quedarse. ¿Es mejor? Sí, porque ahí tiene como paredes así, puede... I'm at a few kilometers of the geysers of Tatio and I found this abandoned village where I'm gonna camp tonight and it's going to be minus 10 degrees. So I'm curious how I'm gonna wake up tomorrow morning. It's 7 in the morning, it's freezing and I'm gonna ride a motorbike. You must think that I'm crazy. Maybe I am. But it's all to see geysers. So I hope it's gonna be worth it. ¿Por qué hay solo este, este humo en la mañana? ¿Tú sabes esto? 
Es un campo geotermal, entonces abajo corren aguas calientes y se hacen cráteres. Y el vapor, eso es lo que se ve. ¿Y? El agua caliente, como la tetera. Sí. Es esto. ¿Y por qué no se ve en la tarde, tú sabes? Porque sube la temperatura. Ah, entiendo. Entonces, no Para se... diferente. Claro. Oh, it's beautiful. It's so cold. It's so beautiful. It's beautiful. Okay, it's everywhere. These guys get created because cold water is getting in contact with hot rocks, and these hot rocks get heated because of the, the magma on the inside of the earth. The water pressure builds up, and where there are cracks, there it appears and it comes to the surface. And you see the smoke because of the, the cold air temperature. I think it's below zero, and that's why you see smoke. It's the same as you breathe out. You see my breath because it's very cold. I really, really love this place. It's completely different than everything else I've seen in my whole life. The smoke that comes up, the, the power of the water, the, it's boiling. It's, it's cold. Nature creates these, these environments. It's, it's amazing. Look at the difference between the casseroles at 7 in the morning and the casseroles right now. Visiting these geysers was a breathtaking experience. I'm amazed by what nature is capable of. A streaming surface, bubbling sound and suddenly a stream of boiling water shooting up from the ground. The earth is full of surprises. Oh, these are the guys who came to where I was camping, asking if they knew any nice place to visit nearby. <laughs> I told them there were dinosaurs around the corner. They went searching for them. The road gets worse and worse. There are no flat spots anymore. More sand. Oh, what a crappy road. I can go slower than this. I'm sure that these cars, they ride 40, 50 kilometers an hour here. I'm riding 10 kilometers an hour. 10. Walking is faster. Hola, señor. No se puede entrar al pueblo? No se puede entrar al pueblo? No hay nadie. No se puede entrar. Hay gente viviendo ahí o? ¿Por qué no se puede entrar, sabes? ¿Por el COVID? ¿Por el COVID? ¿Por la pandemia? Si no, todavía no está tan arreglando, todavía no termina esto. Ah, está arreglando, lo no entendiendo. No, 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 gente de San Pedro. Gente de afuera. ¿Y la gente de San Pedro originalmente fueron a estas comunidades o dónde viven ahora? Ellos vienen ahí, pero antes como trabajaban para Chihuahua y Camarán, estaban ahí trabajando en la minería. Ajá. Así que vendieron su terreno y vino siempre afuera con el turismo. Siempre en San Pedro. Ah, sí. vendieron su terreno a la gente que de afuera. Claro, a la gente de afuera. Ah. Y ahora quieren comprar terreno solo aquí. Ah, <risa> muy caro, ¿no? Es un gran valle para los vicuños. Look at this, so many! Wow, like 30 of them. Another flamingo family. <laughs> it's funny how they walk. Walking towards the center of the lake. It seems like they lift their leg up pretty high. It seems very uncomfortable. <laughs> Go swimming! There are groups of flamingos everywhere. 
in living groups of 20, 30 flamingos. And I have a black tail. Oh man. I think this and this like there are 500 flamingos. Wow, look at their wings. What a beautiful animal. They seem to live a very peaceful life. They have no enemies, they make no enemies. I love to see animals in their natural habitat. And then they can watch them and they do their, what they normally do. beautiful environment. I love this way of traveling. It's just slow. You just take your time. Stop when you see something. At places where there are very few people. So you can see the nature in its most pure state. It's cactus time. The cactus of Huatin. So we went from the Pampa to the desert. Oh, it's still green there. I also thought that cactuses would grow where but there wouldn't be much water or humidity. Apparently, you can have both. But we must be very close to this town now. I assume it's a town where it, it has houses, not just cactuses. Huatin, <laughs> the town of the cactus. Literally, it's only cactus. No houses, no humans. Senor, sabes si se puede comer algo aquí? No hay? No. San Pedro? Ya, yeah. ok, gracias. ¿Es en un puente? ¿Es en un puente? Ah, al agua. Al agua. ¿Va por un tubo o.? Ah, para que llegue a las casas allá. Ah, la che ah, irrigación. Ah, bien. Éxito, gracias.